by the way, uh, great poetic lyrics. Oh, um, yeah. Which one? Yeah, I get locked out. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. That's about the first song I ever knew, like dealing with that kind of subject, becoming a number one. You like that? Yes. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. Did everybody like it? Um, everyone, everyone knew that it was, it was different. You know, I, I wanted to do something different. Uh, live instruments is such a big part of when you come see a, a concert or something, it's such a big part of who I am. Um, I grew up performing with live music, and I, I, I feel like maybe the first time I kind of lacked in that a little bit, mm -hmm. and I really wanted to to kind of showcase that more on this album. So it was important for me to come out with something. I hope I feel. I, I tell people I hope I feel how I felt with Locked Out of Heaven every album. Like I hope I have a song that I know people it's gonna. It's gonna be a little hard to swallow at first, but uh, I think that's what I hope. I, I hope I can evolve every album. And one other thing about your stage performance, um, it's very obvious that you're always sharp dressed, and uh, is is that important for like look good on stage? Uh, I just that's something uh, my dad would always preach to me when I was a kid. Just. But he would just tell me about my shoes and make sure, you know, if you want to get the girls, you got to wear patent leather shoes. And My dad's an OG. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I kind of grew up with that mentality. And it's also a very, like, a Motown mentality. You'd ever see the Temptations or, or uh, the Jackson 5. Anybody, like, back then, they were all kind of dressed sharp on, on TV. And those are the guys I looked up to.